What if you're invited to a holiday dinner at someone's house and they require that you show proof of vaccination in order to get in? That is just one of the precautions some medical professionals are suggesting this season, since the pandemic is really no end in sight. Some leading public health experts have shared their advice with the I-team's Joel Grover about how to host or safely attend a holiday gathering. At this vaccination site in Van Nuys, there weren't many people lining up for shots when the I-team showed up. A reminder that in the coming days, millions of people will be attending holiday gatherings who still haven't been vaccinated. I thought everybody would want to get this vaccine. Dr. Amish Adalja of the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. We know that COVID is a clear and present danger, and you've got this great solution that scientists develop. And it, it, people should be clamoring for it the way they clamor for new iPhones. Doctors and nurses tell the I-team that if you're hosting a holiday gathering, consider asking guests to show proof of a negative COVID test and or proof of vaccination. Do you think people should require their holiday guests be vaccinated? I think it's perfectly okay in your home to set the rules and set the standards. So if you want to ask that your guests can be vaccinated, I think that's a okay requirement to have. With about 30% of the country still partially or fully unvaccinated, local hospitals continue to be busy this holiday season, like USC Verdugo Hills Hospital in Glendale. With the original or first surge, we saw a number of patients up to the teens in the hospital. Well, guess what? We're at about that same level now. The FDA is now considering approving new antiviral drugs for some COVID patients, like this Pfizer COVID pill. But Dr. Dorian says there's no silver bullet on the horizon. From a strictly treatment standpoint, it is not a game changer. These medications are not, when you take it, you get better. They help. So as you head to holiday parties, make use of the same tools of protection discussed from nearly the start of the pandemic. I think one of the most underutilized tools that we have is testing. And many testing centers like this one in the Fairfax district and this one in Panorama City are free of charge. If you're gonna go on a trip, if you're gonna have a party, if you're gonna you know, partake in some type of event where you're gonna be around strangers, it's always a good thing to get tested before the event and then even a couple days afterwards just to make sure you haven't been exposed. As long as you take precautions, medical professionals tell the I-team it's okay to venture out this holiday season. A year ago, you were telling me people should generally avoid big holiday gatherings. What about this year? I think this year we're in a, a different place. We've had vaccines. Vaccines, we have testing readily available. I think we're in a safer place to do so, um, but you still got to take those extra precautions. For the I team, I'm Joel Grover.